Hello, welcome back to the workshop. Right, 40 ton press. Or is it? Now, um, this copies quite a lot from the popular, this is from Home Shop Machine, this copies quite a lot of the um, design of the uh, popular mechanics 10 ton press. And the particular part we are going to talk about today is that. That is a pin there. <coughs> Number 22 on the list of parts. If we go and find the bits, parts here, and we look down at number 22 here. So this is a clevis pin, 5 eighths of an inch by 3 inches long. Now if you look at uh, the popular mechanics um, that we have from Fireball Tools video, um, you can see that's also a 5 eighths clevis pin there, probably about 3 inches long. In fact, I think it is 3 inches long. So the question then becomes, can a 5 eighths clevis pin really handle 40 tonnes? Let's find out. So if we go to my 1966 copy of Machinery's Handbook, we go to my first, see how much it cost me, first entry in here, formulas for tension and compression, we'll come back to that in a minute, uh, and then we have formula for um, shear stress, which is equals V over A. Let's just have a look at what V and A are. V is total shearing load. And A is the area. Um, now total shearing load, I think actually that refers to total shearing load of the material you're using. If we want to find out the shear stress, that is here, and it's given in terms of effectively a proportion of the shear stress of um, the material, the tensile strength. So if we look here, 4130 runs between 81 and 179,000. We'll go for about 100,000. And then we'll times that by 0.75. So we're going to have 75,000 psi in shear stress. So we're going to work out. Oh, actually, no, that's the uh, shear stress. So we, if we want to work out how much load we can carry, we're going to go and put that A up there, simply times the volume, uh, not the volume, the cross-sectional area times 75,000 will give us how much that can take. So we're going to end up with cross-sectional area times stress or the shear stress per inch will give us what the maximum load is. 5 sixteenths is 0.635, so 5 eighths is 0.635 get out my trusted calculator, we can work that out. So we want point, it was half of which is 3125, 0.635 divided by 2, a 3175, my mistake. Let me just work that out. 5 divided by 8. 625 divided by 2. It's 25, not 625. Yeah, 3125 is correct. Right. So we're going to pi r squared. Square it. Times by pi. Gives us 0 0.306. Times by 75,000 pounds per square inch means it will break at 23,000 pounds, or it will shear, because this is like a um, bolt cropper. So it will shear at 23,000 pounds. Right, 
You divide that by the number of pounds in a ton and we get 10 tons. Or just a bit over 10 tons. The book does say that the maximum shear stress is four thirds of that, I think, something like that. Anyway, bottom line is, is, is that the problem mechanics one is only just safe. This one will definitely break at 40 tons. The question then is what can we do about it? Well, if we go up to, that's a one and a half inch bar. If we go up to three quarters of an inch through, which I reckon is the most you could do, we were to use a 0.38, so 0.75 inch, so 0.75 divided by 2 equals square of times by pi and then we times that by 75,000 we get 33,000 which is about 15 tonnes divided by actually we get 14 points so if we go for 5 eighths we're going to get 10 tonne we go for three quarters, we're going to go for 14 tonnes, 14.8. That's a lot of steel in this whole thing, just to make a 14 tonne press. What we can do is we can upgrade this ram here, because Ian Matthews, very kind chap, has sent us two inch bar as well. Partly because that wanted to be 2 by one not sure why that is, but we're going to have to redesign that anyway. Um, and I've got 40 inches of that, so if I change that, we can then do 1 inch. So that's radius of 0.5, we square that, times that by pi, times that by 75,000. And then we get 60, just under £60,000. We get 26 tonnes. So one inch gets us 26 tonnes. Now, let me just work out how long that plunger wants to be. That's part number two in the list. And it says part number two wants to be... 26 and a quarter inch long and this part up here is the other potential candidate to make that and that wants to be 16 inches long we really don't want to make the whole lot out of two inch I think we can get away with making that out of one and a half inch as long as we have these webs here big enough to accommodate a one inch hole and we can do that we should just go and expand that around all the holes make that much bigger so that's not a problem, but clearly, at 26 tonnes, this has got about an 8 times leverage. So if you go for 8 times 3, 24 tonnes. I have a 3 tonne bottle jack, so I can use 3 tonne bottle jack instead of the 12 tonne. That will get me 24 tonnes, actually, will it? Let me see, 3 times 8. No, yes it will. We'll get me about 24 tonnes there, and then we'll make a 24 tonne press. Seems reasonable. What's really interesting is that they went for a 5 8 pin there, there and there. Actually, I think those pins might be bigger. 31, let me have a look. 31 is a 3 quarter inch clevis pin. So they worked out that those needed to be bigger. I just don't understand why they went for a 5 8 there, because... Whatever force you've got down here has got to be reflected in the force there. So if you were trying to put 40 tonnes there, that would be 40 tonnes there, and a 5 8 clevis pin would just get ripped straight off. It's only 5 8 in French measurements. 5 divided by 8 equals times 25.4 is just about 16 mil. Right, so there we have it. It is just as well I didn't start just chipping off and cutting steel there and did some basic calculations because that would have been a bit of a disaster. You do not want stuff under 
ten tons of pressure just snapping because uh, that's going to spoil your day. I'll just leave it at that. Thank you for watching. Um, please comment, please like, please share, please subscribe. And have a good rest of your day.